Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with your external SSD, HD or your USB card. You got an error, disk 1, not initialize. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, right click on a start menu, choose the option disk management. Now in disk management, I'll go ahead and scroll down. Now here you can see my disk 2 is not initialized. So let's go ahead and fix this particular issue. First of all, let's start with the basic troubleshooting steps. Go ahead, unplug your USB and then plug it to a different USB port. It is because in a laptop or a system, there are two types of USB plug-in drive, 3.0 and 2.0. If you have plug in 3.0 USB drive to a 2.0, it will not work. So try changing the port and check the issue is still there or not. Next basic step is if you are using an SSD, which is giving you the error of disk one, not initialize. Turn off your PC, if either it is system or laptop. After turning it off, remove your SSD. After removing the SSD, make sure you took it out from the enclosure also. Wait for 15 to 20 seconds and then re-enter into the enclosure. Turn on your PC and after turning on, only then plug in the enclosure to PC. After doing these changes, go ahead and check in your system this PC or in your disk management the issue of disk one not initialized has been fixed out or not. Now if this failed to work out, let's proceed with the advanced troubleshooting steps. Click on start menu and type CMD, choose the option run as administrator. Now in command prompt, you need to enter a command chk dsk space the letter of your problematic drive. Suppose that by end, if it is letter G, so I'll type in the letter G semicolon space slash R space slash F and then hit the enter key. Now this command may take few minutes up to 10 or 20 minutes. So wait for this particular command to finish fixing the bad sectors present in your drive. Once it is com completed, go ahead and recheck your drive and check the issue of disk one not initialized has been fixed or not. If this also will to work out, let's proceed the next step. In third step, we will take the help of a third party tool. And that tool is very powerful. The name is Easy US Partition Master. Go ahead, you can click on the option download one to download its trial version. Once downloaded, install it in your PC. I have already installed, so I'll go ahead and open the Partition Master. Now here, first of all, click on your disk and then in this right pane, you will find different options. First of all, you need to click on the option Rebuild MBR. Select your operating system and then click on the op OK option. Now hit over here to execute the operation by clicking on the option apply. Wait for it to finish rebuilding the MBR boot partition into your system. Once it is finished, right click on unallocated space and choose option create. From this drop down list, make sure we choose the option NTFS and then click on the option OK to create a new partition for your current disk. Now if this particular rebuild MBR doesn't work out for you, nextly, from the options to the left, you need to click on the option convert to GPT. Again, click over here to execute and hit the option apply to convert your MBR disk to a GPT disk to fix out the issue of disk one not initialized error. Once it is finished, again, you need to proceed with same steps to create a new partition. Right click, create and then click on the option OK. Now if converting to GPT doesn't fix out, again first of all select the disk and this time click on this option which is initialize to MBR. Again click on it, hit apply to initialize the disk to an MBR disk from GPT. Now click on the option finish. Now again right click, choose option create, choose the option as file system NTFS and hit the OK option. Now hit execute and apply to create a partition primary for your newly created disk drive. Now hit finish. Now if this method also failed to work out, in next step, first of all, I recommend to do a backup if you are able to do a backup of your SD card or your USB or SSD because this method will wipe out your hard disk or your SD card. Click on start menu, type CMD and choose the option run as administrator. Now in CMD, you need to type few comments one by one. First one is disk part and then hit the enter key. Now type in list volume and again hit the enter key. Now from here you need to 
select the correct volume which is giving you the error else you will end up formatting your hard disk this method will wipe your hard disk so make sure you choose the letter wisely i'll type here select volume 7 where volume 7 or the letter 7 is my problematic hard disk and to identify why i chosen volume 7 is because the current size it is showing as 0 mb which means this is my problematic hard disk or your usb drive once selected hit the enter key now type here convert gpt and hit the enter key now type in create partition primary and again hit the enter key once it is done type in format fs quick is equal to ntfs and again hit the enter key sorry the correct command is format space quick space fs is equal to ntfs now once the disk is successfully formatted type in assign and hit the enter key that's all you have to do now close it now go ahead open up your this pc and check if the drive is able to show you and the issue of disk one not initialize has been fixed out or not one more thing friends if the data is really important to you i have a dedicated tutorial for that if you have formatted your hard disk you can easily watch this particular tutorial this is a guaranteed tutorial that will help you recover all of your data from the formatted hard disk i have shown you three different ways so make sure you must watch this particular tutorial i'll provide the link of this video in the description of the video so that you can watch this and recover your data after formatting your hard disk ssd or usb drive now if this method also failed to work out let's proceed the last step right click on start menu and choose option disk management now here you need to select your problematic hard disk usb drive or ssd right click on it and choose option properties now from here click on driver tab and choose the option uninstall device click on the option uninstall after uninstalling close it now right click on start menu and this time choose the option device manager now first of all click in this area else these options will not shown to you after clicking right over here click on action tab and choose the option scan for hardware change once it is completed the disk will be auto play and the issue of disk one not initialize will be completely fixed out now if nothing helps to fix out the issue there is another tool with the name crystal disk info again i'll share the link of this website also in the description of this video download it right from here and it will provide you the health of your sd card your ssd or your hdd if it is showing good then your hard disk or usb drive is good else it is completely damaged and it has some kind of hardware error and that's why the issue of disk one not initialize cannot be fixed again even if it is not able to fix out the issue you can again recover the data present in your hard disk using this tutorial that i have already mentioned earlier so make sure you watch this tutorial to recover the data of your corrupted hard disk ssd or usb drive so as of now this is all about it friends if this video works out for you i request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching